So we're out in the shed now. We're just going to demonstrate the Smart Ignition Sense module. So we've got it connected to a Red Arc BCDC Universal kit right now. And you might see in the background that it's just softly flashing. About every 8 to 10 seconds it does a single flash. So that just tells us that the unit is powered up. Um, that it's ready to start activating, but that it's not actually given out a signal yet, so it can't see that a car is running. So we're going to simulate a car running now. We've got the BCDC all hooked up to an auxiliary battery and a main battery. Um, so we're going to turn on a battery charger, and that will simulate the alternator in a car coming up. And we'll see the charger kick into gear as soon as it sees that, that high charge source, but we won't activate the sensor just yet. So you can see now the lights are on the Red Arc unit. We've got the vehicle light on, the stage light on, the A profile. So the Red Arc charger is now charging. Now, how this works is when it picks up the slightest vibration from a car, just the vibration of the vehicle running, you'll see that it turns on. At that point, it's now giving. So at, while it's picking up vibration, it's giving that signal to the unit. So I'm just lightly tapping that unit now. Basically, the unit looks at three different scenarios. So firstly, it waits to see a high voltage from the alternator. So that's its first trigger point. So when I've turned that battery charger off, it would have picked up the high voltage. Then it waits for one of two other sources, either vibration, like I'm signaling here, or inertia, forward and backwards motion, which would happen when you're braking in the car, taking off in the car, that type of thing. Once it does that, it stays in, it stays connected for a period of time until it sees those things disappear. So if I go, I'm gonna turn that charger off now. So that's kind of like we've stopped the car. It can't see vibration now. And it's gonna see the battery voltage slowly going down now. So once it sees, it's already determined there's no vibration or inertia. Now it's seen that the battery voltage has died on the main start battery which is what the red arc's connected to. So it can determine now that the vehicle is no longer running. Why it's great that it waits for several different scenarios to happen is I'll just simulate now. So if someone walks past and bumps your car, it's not gonna turn on. If you're opening and shutting doors while you're camping, it's not gonna turn on. So it needs to see the high voltage first and go, okay, I'm pretty sure the car's running, but I'm gonna wait for some motion so we'll just simulate that again. So I'm tapping away. It's getting motion, it's getting inertia, but it's not turning on. So we'll just fire up. Wait for that charger to kick in. Okay, so I'm gonna try now. It's seen inertia. And so even if I and this is explaining the variable voltage alternators, how they work. So at certain points with the car running, it can get down so low, and I'm gonna turn this charger off now so we no longer have charge source, which is simulating a smart alternator. So they're turning off while you're driving. But if this can still see vibration and inertia, it will stay on. It's already determined that the voltage has dropped, but it's staying in because it can see inertia. So, or, or vibration. So it's gonna stay in for a period of time until such time that I stop moving this unit. So you can see it's staying in now. I'll just give it another, just to demonstrate another few seconds. We can see that it's, it's picking up a little bit of motion and it's deciding to stay in. But as soon as I let this down, because it's already seen the voltage drop away on the battery, so as soon as I sit it down now, give it a second, a couple seconds, and we'll see that light go off. And there you go. It's it's determined that, okay, the car is no longer running. So that's why these are great to keep the DIY set up and the plug and play set up when you order one of our universal kits and you're dealing with a vehicle that has a variable voltage or smart alternator. If you tell us on the form on the website what kind of battery that you're going to be charging and that your vehicle's got the variable voltage alternator and you buy this as a package, then we will actually pre-wire it for you before it comes out. We do sell these as a DIY add-on that you can do yourself, but if you buy them together, we package it just like this one has been.
so it's already hardwired into the kit there's a fuse there for just the um the smart ignition sensor hardwired into the harness of the kit so when this arrives all you've got to do is bolt up the unit connect to your two batteries and the job's done